Brobnar's getting a key cheat, and you've got uh, Lollop and Groggins with some flex so, synergy in that in that piece. I don't know the name of this card because it's not in English yet, but there is a Brobnar key cheat where you play it. It's an action. You sacrifice 25 power worth of creatures, and you forge a key. So this is another one that I think is probably going to be isolated, but I'm not sure. Epic Quest wasn't isolated. Um, key Abduction obviously wasn't isolated, but uh, Choda, Key Chard, even Key of Darkness, for whatever reason, was <laughs> a one of. Um, so I'll be interested to see which way they go with this one, because I think it's good even uh, in multiples. Some of my team seems to think otherwise, because I don't think they're fully realizing AOA as a set yet. <laughs> so if I'm looking at big creatures in Brobnar, there's a bunch of sixes, there's a few sevens, um, but a lot of the bigger, bigger ones, other than I think Troll, I think was, I can't remember if Troll was common or uncommon, but Troll is an eight. There's several decks that have two or three of them. Yeah, Troll's not this... a hard card to find. I got to imagine he's common. Yeah. Yeah. So in this set, though, you have Lollop and Grogan. Lop- Lollop is an 11 power creature. Grogan is an eight power creature. So I imagine you're going to have a lot of decks <laughs> that have a lot of these two cards. And at that point, this key cheat will be executed by sacrificing three creatures from your board. Mm-hmm. And you forge a key for free on your turn. So, so for those of you wondering, it is called La Louis du Plus Fort, which yeah. translated from French to English is the law of the strongest. Yeah, well, that's what we think is something like or close to that, but we don't know what that's it is. A, that is its word-for-word word translation. The law of the strongest. Law of the strongest. There we go. So law of the, so there'll be some law decks out there um, that probably want law up. <laughs> probably, yeah, we're going to have to call them like Judge Dreads. Yeah. Because I, I am the law. <laughs> but being able to jump straight to a key with just sacrificing three creatures is, is so I think that's going to be a thing that comes out. And I would love to see the key cheat uh, to not be isolated because I think a Brobnar Sanctum deck with two or three of these things in him can legitimately forge all their keys this way. So, oh, I also have a Flex Synergy. So in the same type of deck, there's a card called Flex. You exhaust a creature and you gain Amber equal to half of its power. So I'm thinking of a scenario where I started with a Lollop, Grogans, and some other creature that's not Brobnar. I flex my Lollop. I gain five Amber. I reap with the other dude. That's Brobnar. Uh, the, the Grogans. That, that's six Amber. I sacrifice three creatures. I forge a key and I'm in check. Pass don't, you. Don't forget. <laughs> um, we have a phase shift like creature in the set too. Yeah. So we so could. Exactly. What is it? Bitnip or Bitbip or Bitblip or whatever. The helper hell? bot. I think it's helper bot. Is it helper right? bot? Oh. It could be. Yeah, it is Helper Bot. You're absolutely Helper right. Bot. Mm-hmm. What was I'm thinking of Bitnip. There's somebody named like Bitnip or Bit Bip or something. I think like there's that. a Pip Pip, but I don't remember what it does. Maybe it was Pip uh, Pip. But there uh, is yeah. a Pip Pip you in play logos. Them. After an enemy creature reaps, it's done. Oh, okay. That's it. That's what I'm thinking of. But uh, play Helper Bot, and you can play a non logos card this turn. Mm-hmm. So play Helper Wish. Bot into a Flex. And, and yeah, or maybe or help her buy into the into, Brobnar key cheat. Into the cheat, yeah. There's, yeah. yeah. This this could be a lot of this could be some fun. Uh, should we move into total recall key abduction plus carpet floxum? So I saw this like. So we were talking about these two cards when we first started. So we're, we're working on coding the arc for the the future SAS release of AOA. And I saw these two Floxum cards, and my team was ragging on them, but late, but they didn't like. I immediately connected to a card that, and and went and searched for Total Recall. So there's a one card in the set for Mars. So Mars is good, you know another good Mars thing going on, right? Um. So, key abduction. We already talked about what that does. Total Recall returns. Uh, you gain one Amber for every readied friendly creature, and then no matter what, you return all friendly creatures to your hand. So in a lot of cases, you might not be wanting to do that because you're obviously that's off house return that kind of slows down your cycle. But there's two cards coming out in Mars that actually tri- the trigger in order for them to do anything is that you have no friendly creatures in play, <laughs> which is really weird. But if you have those in Total Recall decks, they're actually pretty effective. Well, I think Carpet flocks them or however you say that. Mm-hmm. Is do I think it does four damage to all enemy creatures 
Yeah, if, if you have you no, have no creatures, friendly creatures in play, deal four damage to each creature. Like, that's a big board. I mean, four damage is not total board wipe against Sinctum and Brobnar, but it's pretty much board wipe against the other five houses. I was say, that's, a solid, that's a solid pseudo board wipe. Yeah, and I, as we just discussed, Shadow Self is not in play. So that's that literally is board wiping all Shadow. Yeah. Like, they're done. Shadows is gone. Most, Most of, of Mars logos. is gone. Mars. Almost all logos. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, uh, um, a lot of Untamed is no longer on the field. Uh, maybe a third of discs, but you're going to hurt all of the rest of the discs. Um, the the discs so, yeah. that matter, at least at, at this point, will be gone. For sure. So I think that's a pretty interesting one. And the fact that there's actually two cards that can combo off of this type of deck. The other one is not in English yet. It's Frappe de Fluxum. So they're both Fluxum cards, or whatever that means. And that, that other one is, I think, destroy all enemy creatures not on a flank. Yep. So, I mean, that's too... Pr- like that, I, I actually think the four damage to all of them is better than the destroy all non-flanked ones. But together, I mean, that's, that's a legitimate thing if you're already planning on doing total recall key abduction. Um, which I mentioned earlier, as far as Coda, like that's already a real thing. So if you can line those up with cards that combo in addition to that, because obviously you're setting yourself behind a little bit by removing your board. <clears throat> if you can then replay all your Mars people to an empty opponent board and potentially forge the, forge the key if it's key abduction based, I think you're talking about some different shifts in Mars power because those are going to be more common in the Yeah. And Frappe de Floxum is translates to Floxum Strike. Okay, so, so that would be Strike Floxum. No, just um, Floxum Strike. Oh, yeah, because that is in the range. Oh, that makes sense. I, cool. I don't know. I don't speak much French. Yeah, so. I don't speak any. I don't. I don't yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't really go to it. I go to Google and just type it in and see what it tells me. It tells it back to me. 